In this video, uh, I want to show you how I modified my Alacraft KX1 transceiver to accept internal lithium batteries. My goal was to be able to use on occasion only the internal batteries, but to have more power than I could get with alkalines and to have them rechargeable. And yet I didn't want to give up the option of returning to double A's in a pinch if I were out in the field and my batteries ran down. So I chose to use uh, three lithium uh, rechargeable batteries. Uh, their nominal voltage is 3.7, but when they're new they actually run more like 4.5. So three of them gives me 11 to 12 volts. Um, so I used only the one carrier. I, this is basically bypassed on this side. I used one of the, the holders. I used Nightcore uh, rechargeable batteries because they have built-in protection and I didn't want to have to add a protection circuit. Uh, they're a tight fit and the only modification I made was that there is a little ridge on the positive end of the holder to keep the battery from being reversed and I had to cut that off with a Dremel tool or a knife. So that fits in there. On this side, uh, this basically you just have to short these two out to bypass this, this uh, holder, but what I did is I decided I might as well add a fuse for extra protection. I got a fuse holder, popped it in there. I added a little stiff piece of wire on this end that goes through this hole just to keep it in place and make sure it didn't fall out. Now you need to make sure that it's very short and does not protrude into this area because otherwise the crystal will come down here and short out on it. The other addition was this uh, dummy battery which is just a piece of dowel with a screw and connector on this end and a wire that runs from this end to this end of the, the fuse holder. So what it means is that the, between the fuse and this dummy battery that runs a wire here it's basically connecting these two. So when I do that I'm running on these three batteries and this is basically a bypass but if in a pinch I need to replace it with AAs all I have to do is take these out and take these two items out. I then added this little piece of clear plastic on top and it would held down a little tape just to make sure it doesn't short out uh, when it's being bounced around. So that's worked pretty well for me. It's worked very well actually for me. I've been very happy with it. I've had lots of QSOs with it. It, it gives me about two and a half watt, two to two and a half watts output with the KX1 uh, and they're rechargeable. Uh, I probably could have modified this to charge them in place, but I preferred to, to take them out. And I'm using a Nightcore IntelliCharger, IntelliCharger i4, which is a very versatile charger and charges them nicely. So that's it. Uh, it's worked really well for me, and um, I hope you enjoy your KX1 as much as I do.